This is Average Cups of Tea, also known as ACOT. You probably don't recognize him, but you'll probably recognize this. I finessed your bitch. Hey. I finessed your bitch. Hey. Or this. Paycheck after paycheck, I'm just trying to get my money right. Shrooms inside my lunch, I'm getting higher than a fucking Kai. Rap can Billy makes you think I'm dumb, but wait, there's always more. Got a little buzz, and now these bitches at my fucking door. Still not ringing a bell? Well, for sure you know this. Bitch, I'm my dick, I got money now. I got a hoe in like every town. I make it pop in the underground. We going up and you know it now. Green in my pockets and in my lungs. I'm smoking gasoline. Most of you suck a straight sound and whack. Don't hit me for that feature. If you're still confused, well, welcome to the world of ACOT. You like singing about drugs. Is this because you like taking drugs yourself? Nah. You want people to take drugs themselves. This perhaps why you sing about drugs. Oh yeah, I want them to take drugs. Why is this? Cause it's better than Monopoly. Akon's rise to cultural stardom for just a few months was one of the most amazing things I've, I've witnessed firsthand. Akon's song, Finesse Your Bitch, amassed 2 million views in about 3 days on a now-deleted video. His song, Charlie Frown, currently sits at 1 million on SoundCloud and a little under on YouTube. His song, Gasolina, with Corndog and Ikeem, basically put him at the top of any meme food chain. And now, you don't hear about him. But why? I've been in the studio making hits now. Probably watch the one on my day now. For the longest time, Akot's career seemed to center around memes with songs like He and She Like Me blowing up, Mia Wallace, Waffles and Chicken, Tango, and Intro to My Death, but here and there there were the occasional serious songs which amassed about half of the views his meme songs did, which made me feel like maybe he wasn't happy with the craft he was making, because songs like Taking Over and Therapy Session, they were very, very different from his other stuff, yet they got way less views. So he comes back full force with the meme stuff, with his song Woman and No More Fucking Parties, and then he appears to go through a, a change suddenly. He then drops Love Birds, a very dark and ominous record. And then he drops To Be Alone, which is actually a fucking masterpiece. And that got 140,000 plays. He ghost ghost for around a year and then comes back with an EP entitled I'm Sorry But The Sky Went Red Again and in all honesty it flopped. The track with the highest number of plays only had 41,000 plays. And 41,000 plays isn't no minor league shit. But when you have a few songs with over a million and your song gets 40,000 plays, that's gotta be pretty disheartening, which it is, which ACOT revealed in a now deleted tweet stating, y'all want an album, but y'all let my EP flop. Shortly after the aforementioned EP, ACOT drops Slowly Losing Privacy, which is a solid track, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is this specific bar right here. Yeah. Don't give a fuck about a critic, get artistic with the way I fucking spit it So admit it, I'm terrific, not a gimmick like these other rapping bitches Have a couple stupid songs, but I just did it for the digits Here, ACOT claims that he did his meme songs for the money Which was foreshadowing for what was to come Sometime after slowly losing privacy releases, he drops Who Is ACOT Masqueraded as a very happy, upbeat one of his other songs But around the 46 second mark Things change. When the record label call me up, I can we sign you? Why 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 can we sign you? Black shoes and my lungs black too. Lucifer been on me like a tattoo. I don't got a soul to give, that's a past due. Was gonna ask. He takes initiative and bef begins to form his own style while dropping songs like Sat Alone in High School, Wild, Casino, and Spit. He's, he was making waves. Well, that's the problem. He actually wasn't. His career was slowly declining, and everyone who knew him from memes has forgot about him at this point. He waits too long to drop records, and when he does, they're not meme and funny but they aren't bad either. About nine months ago, ACOT dropped 
with the Roaches, uh, an EP that was really, really good, but a highlight on the record was Greyhound, a very heartfelt song about a girl. And just, just listen. Sad, sad girl, ricochet to a gray town. Gray town. If we never met, I'd be eight feet under. Eight feet under, under, under. I never saw a point like, like, like wonder. Does that sound like the same heartfelt, happy, cheery man talking about finessing your bitch two years ago? No, and it's a sign of growth. He obviously doesn't want the money, as mentioned in his song Wild. We could have had the fame already, think it's almost time to grab it in a Labels on my nutsack, man, throwing money in my face, I don't trust that man, need a cut back, man, nice sign of shit, looking at me like a money you could suck my and he seems to be happy with the direction his music is going at the moment. He's made experimental records like Eek and Candy, and they're honestly some of my favorite records of all time. And I really like what he's doing, even though he's kind of fallen off, with Eek and Detox currently sitting at under 10,000 plays. Even if ACOT isn't famous anymore, he seems to like what he's doing, and I support him in everything he does. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, drop a sub. This took so fucking long to edit, and I would really appreciate support on this video. If it ain't the moolah trying to talk to me, stop calling me. Pockets feeling tight, and I'm just trying to stack my collar.